Hi, this is Fred from Final Room Productions, greeting you from our off-grid studio in Alfred, Maine. We're going to talk about a new project today called The Cleanse. Before we get into that, let's go for a little history lesson. If you recognize this clip, then you know all about what radio used to be. <laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the hearts of men. Sadly, it all came to an end. What most people don't realize, however, is that a lot of great radio drama happened in the era after the Golden Age. Uh, for instance, ZBS and the Fourth Tower of Inverness. But when I was walking up the road, up from the bay, I could see the tops rising out of the fog. Four distinct towers. I assure you, there is no Fourth Tower of Inverness. Or a NPR and a canticle for Leibowitz. And he showed you where to look? Uh, I, I never said and he was an angel. And this is your excuse for believing yourself to have a true vocation? That this, shall we call him a creature, spoke to you? Eric Bowersfeld's Bay Area Radio Drum. <laughs> I've just blown my nose, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm examining the results. Hmm. <laughs> the result is, is, of course, art. Everything I do is art. Well, that's because I am an artist. And this, this ditch I've dug, this is art too. How about the BBC and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? You know, it's at times like this when I'm trapped in a Vogon airlock with a man from Beetlejuice and about to die of asphyxiation in deep space that I really wish I'd listened to what my mother told me when I was young. Why? What did she tell you? I don't know. I didn't listen. Not bad for a dead medium. You know, radio drama still had a place on NPR itself in America until 1983 when along came Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Um, after some budget cuts, radio drama on NPR did not survive. With dwindling support, radio drama really might have faded away. Uh, many people think it has, but there was this technology that came along a little bit later, changed everything. First, there was the internet. Then there was the iPod. Then there was the iTunes Store, which suddenly connected people with portable audio devices with free, independent audio programming. And suddenly radio drama, which had had a hard time reaching audiences beyond small local markets on low-power FM, could easily and inexpensively reach a worldwide audience. And here's where Final Room really comes into the picture. We started in 2006, right when podcasting was exploding from an underground sort of geeky art form into mainstream. Since then, we've released over a dozen independently produced original radio shows, most of them recorded on location. That means on the beach, in the woods, suburbs, bars, and airports, so all in Maine, as close to the real place as the script uh, calls for. It's sort of like movie making, only without the camera, which means it's cheaper, faster produce, and can reach an audience, including the blind, which is pretty cool. Uh, we get thousands of downloads a month from over 100 countries. We've been in the Wall Street Journal, we've been in The Guardian, we made it on the BBC Radio 4's blog, and uh, all with a group of dedicated main actors and sound artists powered by the love of the medium as well as lots of the homemade meals. But now that we've got the world's attention, we want to take it to the next level, uh, which brings us back to The Cleansed. The Cleansed is a post-apocalyptic story of our times about a world where we've run out of oil and had to really adjust our lives and experienced a lot of mayhem. Uh, but civilization does go on. Um, there's a new society in rural Maine where a group of youths has grown up. And as they come of age, they are interested in learning about the world that came before. And a mysterious stranger sends them on a quest, a quest that will send them across a barren landscape into the heart of darkness and to learn some very important lessons. The Cleanse is an epic story of our time. It explores issues like our dependence on oil and fragile local communities in the way that only science fiction can. It's a timely, important story that we want to reach lots and lots of people, and we've got a plan to make that happen. Uh, we will be releasing it on our website in weekly installments of five to seven minutes. It'll be a free podcast, but ad-supported. It'll also air on local radio stations such as WMPG in Portland and other radio stations. Since it will be in a snack-sized chunk released each week, radio programmers can better fit it into their busy schedules and people who listen and catch only a five to seven minute chunk can of course go back to the website and listen to more we hope to make enough money from the first season to sustain the project to its completion but we need the capital to get going so here's the pitch all right so here's the deal we'll start off with a freebie if you go to www.thecleansed.com you can listen to the pilot episode for free in its entirety if you like it and want to hear more you can support us through the paypal links on the site uh, that'll help support the production, and uh, we'll take anything from five to ten bucks to five hundred thousand bucks. It's all available there. We thank you for every generous donation. However, if you are in a position to be more generous, uh, there are some special things you get: swag as well as the opportunity to be part of the production. So that's all on there. Hope you'll investigate it 
carefully. Um, also, if you are representing a business, we are looking for sponsors to support the production. Um, so not only do you have the opportunity to make a tax deductible donation, uh, but we'll have some great sponsorship opportunities such as being pushed through our YouTube channel, on social media networks, as well as um, in the podcast itself. So that's all on there as well. You can also contact me personally, fred at finalroom.com, and uh, we can talk about it more. So thanks so much for your attention. Hope you support this project, and thanks for listening. I'm a staff sergeant myself, ma'am. In Podunk, Maine. What do you know about this kind of madness? I grew up around here. These are my people. I want to protect them, like a soldier. You're going to need some help, sergeant. I'm not turning it away. Right. You've got guns and ammo at this camp. Have you been listening? Very well. Let's move. Brenner, round up your Girl Scouts. Yep. All right, everyone. Let's go.